Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. There we are. Awesome. Alright, let's do some little shout outs to see here. Let me just quickly pop up the chat box. There we go. I've got a laptop next to me this time, guys. Uh huh. I've got a laptop next to me. Alright, let's say hello to everyone. Hey, Jessica. We've got Harry. Eddie Santiago, what's up, man? Zaza. Oh my god, so many of you. I can't keep up, hold on. Rose, hi Rose. Mundo. What's up, Kerry? Emmy, Snow the Bear. Snowy the Bear. <laughs> nice one, I like that one. My opinion. Drew. What's up, everybody? Hey, Jessica. Hey, Bloody Pink. Signy. Signy? Signy? Did I pronounce that correctly? Hey, Kylie. Hey, Pancakes. Diogo. Jessica again. Ah, oh, God, this is going too fast. <laughs> where is everybody from? Type in the chat right now where you are from. I'm really curious. Hey, Kerry. Hey, Commander Bacon, Brando, Sulkin, Danny Mac in the house. What's up, Danny boy? My friend, my buddy, my pal. Another YouTuber. Go check him out, everyone. Danny Mac. Danny the Mac. He's also a, a Twitch streamer, by the way. Brilliant CG artist. Oh my god, look at all these hellos from everywhere. From Spain, Sweden, Michigan, Slovakia. It's Texas, yeah, baby. Florida. Canada, UK, yeah, my Brit brother or sister, Bassy Draws, Kiki from Guatemala, San Diego, California, USA, Alabama, Nigeria, Houston, Morocco, wow, from around the world, this is awesome, man, look at that, unbelievable, alright, let me, let me fill you in what's going on, you have to probably thinking to yourselves, alright, how is Paris talking so well, right, and drawing at the same time, huh? <laughs> Alright, let me fill you in what's going on. I decided to pre-record everything so I can play back the live role. It's real-time drawing and at the same time it gives me the opportunity to hang out with you guys and we chat like I'm doing right now. From Argentina, I got New Zealand, Brazil, Colorado, Peru, Caracas, Caracas? I've never heard that one. Caracas? Where's that? Where's that Daniel? 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 Moreno? New York, what's up? The Big Apple. Brothers, that's right, the UK brothers. <laughs> Canal Mega Fire Blast from Brazil. Argentina, vamos, vamos. Argentina, Saudi Arabia, what's up? Welcome everybody, Colorado. It's a good day to be what? Oh God. <laughs> Saudi Arabia again, hey there, what's up? Book Lodi. Drew, what's up Drew? Florida baby. That's cheating. Yeah, I know, but I want to hang out with you guys, you see. I miss you guys too, man. I miss you guys too. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Right, uh, yeah, I had to do this, guys, because I, was, I watched back my previous streams and I was struggling to, like, focus on drawing whilst listening to, listening to DP telling me your questions and then, like, focusing on answering you guys. And that was the slow process, right? So, this way you guys can enjoy what I'm doing. At the same time, I can look at the chat box right now. I've got a laptop next to me now, so it's going to be a lot easier. And yeah. Right, let me fill you in what's going on. Basically, um, I wanted to create, um, decorate my, my logo a little bit so I can add on my YouTube videos in the corner like I usually do, or my streams, etc. So um, whilst I was deciding to plan to create this, I thought, why not record it and just, like share it with you guys as well? You know, Because it's a, it's a fun little drawing. And you guys have already seen it on the thumbnail of this uh, stream. And um, yeah, so it's just, you're gonna see the whole process of me quickly scribbling everything out, doing a couple passovers and basic colorings, uh, just to render them render out a little bit, but I kept it flat and everything. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So sit back, get your popcorn out, and it's gonna be just under an hour. What's all this? Oh wow, New Yorker looking for more tutorials. You're in the right place, buddy. They adore Ava. I'm good, I'm well, I'm well. Let's do this, Sam says. Hey Kylie, it's so cool that I actually have a chance to have my replies read by someone I look up to. Oh, that's so sweet. Jenny says, Paris, I want to be a Disney animator in the future, so any advice for a beginner artist? Well, just practice hard, work on your portfolios. Don't stop learning. 
Uh, it's a it's a tough process. You know, everyone hates that answer. You know, just practice, practice, practice. Uh, yeah, study all forms of arts because Disney they demand a lot. You know, they they want not only for you to know like how to draw, but you gotta understand perspective. Uh, you gotta understand gesture artwork and you know all that storytelling, beautiful art that they expect from everybody. So yeah. How do you change your mouse to a pencil? I don't. Um, what you're looking at now is my recording software. And what it does is once it records my video, whatever my mouse is doing, it replaces the, the mouse icon to a pen. That's it. So Paris, why not? Oops, I missed that one. Hold on. Can I go back a bit? Because you guys are going fast. Right, where are we? Where are we? Uh, I lost you. I lost it. Someone said something. There we go. Paris, why not live stream on Twitch? Um, because I've already got my audience here and everything, so, you know, that's the only reason. Otherwise, if I didn't have, like, an audience already, I'd, I would have probably maybe done both, Twitch and YouTube, but, yeah. Have, you've had years of practice. Yes, I have. I have had years of practice. Jessica says, hey, Chris, I have a question. Do you have any advice for an artist for storytelling? I am a webcomic artist and writer, so any advice? Huh, um... Hmm. It depends on what style you're going for, um, and what type of concepts you want to cover. Yeah. What type of artist are you, first of all? Let me know in the chat. What type of artist are you? And I'll give you my opinion on that. Uh, DC, okay, cool. Shout out, DC shout out. <laughs> Holla to DC, DC. Where are we? I'm losing you guys, man, I can't keep up. I'm having tea. Oh, I wish I could have some tea, actually. Bit too late though. I've got a glass of water. 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 You know the good old London water. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Kylie says I've been craving popcorn. <laughs> no, I bought some popcorn that's like fat-free and sugar-free and everything. You just put it in microwave in like two minutes. You just got your whole popcorn ready. All right. Let's see what else. I've been. All right. Read that one. I uh, wish. I, yeah. Read that one. What about experimenting? What do you mean by experimenting? Give me a, a for instance. Hey Paris, I've learned a lot from you. You're an inspir you're my in you're an inspiration. Oh, thank you so much, Steve. I I do my best. You know, every little bit counts. Anything I could do to help you guys out, you know, it's a pleasure for me. Yeah, Kylie says thank you for announcing my name right. Huh? Did I get it right? There you go. Oh, is it Kaylee? Wait, hold on. Did I say it wrong? Is it? Because you wrote Kaylee, but I read Kylie. I don't know. Which one is it? Kaylee or Kylie? <laughs> What's up, cadet? Alright. Alright, there might be some internet problems, by the way. I've, had, I've been having some issues with my provider for the past month. They've been like... I've been, I might be online and then suddenly my internet will just freeze for some reason. They're doing some updates and stuff and it's, everyone's getting like, you know, really pissed with them. So, I hope this stream goes smoothly. Hey, Agata. Greetings from Poland. What's up? It's 1 a.m. over there. Well, over here it's 2 a.m. I'm one hour in front of you. I'm in Cyprus, so I'm one hour in front of you. I know how, to, I know how it feels. I'm half asleep, actually. This is usually the time I try to doze off. What's up, Bessie? I once called... I was once called a... What? A Seiko art on your first stream, I believe. What do you mean by that? You were once called that? That was your username or something? I can't remember. There were so many of you guys in the past. Uh, Tobienko says, thanks for the recent comment and favorite for, from the, oh, is that you? I remember, oh guys, you gotta check it, you know what I'm gonna do? She made this beautiful fan art for me, of Cherry, it was for my birthday stream, which I saw today, and, um, I'm gonna make a video and put all your fan artwork together, and like, I gotta, I gotta show people, it's, it's, it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done, it was beautiful. Hey Dylan, what's up? Jake Eggy? <laughs> I love your names, guys, you got some cool names. Oh, he did get it. I did get it. Did I miss something? <laughs> All comic. Great. I draw cartoon animals. Awesome. Awesome, Omega. Awesome. I love cartoon animals. Right now, what you see me doing is I'm just like fiddling around with the poses. I'm trying to get in there like and really like before I get stuck into like proper like cleaning everything up, I just need to make sure that the poses are correct, the silhouettes of everything is correct. So you're going to see me doing a couple of po Passovers. For you that don't know what Passover is, is um, once I scribble out something out, like a little pose here and there, 
I then erase it softly and go over it one more time, just in case I miss something, tweak a bit here and there, just to really get that, uh, you know, that correct pose that I, that, that I had in my, in my mind, that kind of thing, you know. Where did you study anatomy? Um, life drawing classes, Dylan. Um, I used to go practically nearly every week to life drawing classes. And it's the best place to go for figure drawing, right? And you do just your, just just your artwork there as well. You have got a model in front of you that changes poses, or he changes poses every minute or so. And you can really you need to be in a life drawing class, really. Otherwise, if you can't have access to a life drawing class, I mean, I can't hear myself talk, man. But I've got like these razor. Oh, that's better. Or was I screaming, by the way? Because I, I, I've got like these Razer headsets and, uh, you know, gaming headset and it blocks out any sound from my, you know, I can't hear nothing. So I, sometimes I might be screaming. <laughs> I, had just, I just had to take it out. Um, yeah, if you have no access to um, an anatomy class, the best thing to do is like, you know, that, that um, what's that website I used to use for my Cherry SketchUps? Uh, I forgot the name of it. Go and check my videos on Cherry SketchUps on YouTube and there's a website that I use that has like, there's Quick Poses, there we go, quickposes.com. Uh, that's a great place to study anatomy. Uh, yeah. White Wolf says, any tips for artists with really bad case of art block lack of inspiration? Oh God, you have to check out my storytelling poses course. Um, for those, who, who's, actually now we're on the subject, I'll get back to you on that one White Wolf. Who's purchased the storytelling poses course? Write down yes if you've purchased the course. I want to ask you a question about it. Does, uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh my god, it's flying by. If I missed your question, repeat it because uh, I, I can't go back. It doesn't allow me to go back. It just keeps refreshing. Who is was your cartoon illustration inspiration? Chuck Jones. Chuck Jones, Tex Avery, Fred Free, Fred Frizzle, uh, Hanna Barbera, um, all the old school guys. Yeah, I needed that tonight, just chilling with Paris. Hey Felix, welcome to the pack, welcome to the pack. Bloody Pink says, I'm in progress of my two web comics, but how is the best to make myself noticed and caught a bigger role? All right, so I had to grow an audience basically, yeah? You, right, imagine, imagine the web being the ocean, right? And you're throwing out, let's say this video I'm creating right now, this stream right now, imagine this one video is a drop in the ocean. Yeah, so the more drops of water we have in the ocean, the more chance that we're gonna have people landing on that drop of in the ocean. So you need to spread your environment. You know, spread, go go out there. You know, there's so many different social medias out there. It's the best place to go, right? Social medias. You gotta get on Facebook. You gotta get on YouTube. You gotta get on Instagram. If you've got Twitter, Deviant Art is like the Facebook for artists. Although I'm not active as much as I used to be on there, which I should be. Um, but yeah. Deviant Art is a huge place to kickstart. For me, the easiest place is Instagram. All right, if you know how to handle Instagram correctly, although once again, I'm not doing it correctly because I'm very like lazy. Uh, but I will get, you know, I will get really active and take it more seriously. But Instagram is so easy to get noticed on Instagram if you do it correctly. Uh, I, you know what, I, I should do a, a whole video about this one day. But yeah, you need to get yourself involved in all different types of social medias. That's the way to get your stuff shared and viewed. Um, anything that's searchable works, right? So if you're gonna do what I do, forget it, because it, it's a hassle, it's, it'll bust your brains. You know, you know, trying to make people notice Cherry was a nightmare for me. It was a hard task. Uh, I had to do a lot of things to get her noticed. But if you want to get on YouTube, for example, or, or any other you know, media out there, you need to do things that are searchable. So how to draw something, for example. You know, keywords that people actually search for. Uh, yeah, make, uh, form relationships with people as well, so that uh, once you form a relationship with someone who has a decent following, they will also help you out with collaborations as well. So um, yeah, there's so many techniques, but my honest opinion is to get involved and get your hands dirty on every single social media. Uh, what else do I need? Uh, Z, uh, I'm uh, all right. Considering doing a stream where you critique others' artwork. Yes, I have. All right, let's, let me let me. Right, Iron Iron Twist just brought up a good point there. He says, Paris, have you ever considered doing a stream where you critique other artwork? Right. So, um, this is what I've been planning. It's been a month now and I've been thinking about the streams because I learned a lot from the previous streams and I learned a lot from DP as well, my buddy DP. Uh, and I'm going to constantly improve my streams. 
Now, what I'm thinking about doing after this, this is just a one-off right now, it's just for fun. Um, but what I'm planning to do is, is create new streams every week or every two weeks. And it's going to be called my digital sketchbook, alright? And basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sketching poses, it could be cherry, it could be anything. Any, it, any type of illustration I can think of. And if it's a cherry day, for example, you guys get to pick which one of the cherries I drew on that stream for me to render out in a speed video. And I was going to also involve um, taking people's artwork and maybe draw over it and maybe correct things up or maybe take your artwork and make a, another version of it done by me sort of thing in my style. Um, different types of ideas. Actually, you know what? If you guys got any cool ideas that I can do for the stream, write it down in the chat. I'm actually interested because I'm new to this stuff, man. You know me. I'm, 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 I'm me. I'm also going to be doing some prize giveaways, some prints and stuff, original um, sketches as well on actual paper with a pencil, actual sketches, uh, originals, not digital. No. No. Digital artwork is not original. You can print it a million times. And um, yeah. Right, let's go further down. Do you work for Disney? No, I don't, Dylan. I wish I did. Drew says, did you go to art college? Yes, I did. I went to, I went to Central St. Martins College of Arts. It's now changed its name to something else. I can't remember what it is, but you can Google it. It's the, one of the number one um, art and design colleges in the UK. Well, it used to be my time. But it does everything from fashion design to any, anything to do with art. It's one of the biggest fashion designs came from there. Uh, let's see further down. What program are you using to live stream? I'm using OBS. Now, I don't have a clue if it's a good one. I don't know if there's other ones that are better. I don't really care, you know. I mean, I just, I'm new to this, right? <laughs> so I'm just using OBS because that's what my buddy BP told me to do. Uh, quick poses. Oh, I just lost it. Now, I can't keep up with you guys. Guys, once again, if I missed your, quest, your question, repeat it. Because I'm using this little, little chat box. Music got loud. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, volume down. Pull him down. Pull him down. There we go. All right. Is that better? All right. Sorry, guys, for that. <laughs> Danny Max says, "Gotta hit the hay, Paris." And I'm, oh, you're gonna go to sleep? Yeah, I know. It's probably what? Is it 12 o'clock over there? It's 12 o'clock, 12:30 even. Guys, check out Danny. You know what? Let me let me give you guys Danny's Twitch. You gotta check him out. The guy is so super talented, and I'm gonna be talking about what he has inspired me to do. Here, watch this. Check out that link, guys. That's his Twitch, right? He's also a YouTuber. You can click on his uh, logo there, Danny Mac. And he's a CG artist. He uses a ZBrush and he creates some awesome. He's like a, a CG version of me. Seriously, he, he, he creates characters in, in ZBrush, CG versions, like 3D versions. And the style, if you look at them, is very similar to what I do. You know, it's got, he's got that Disney esque like type stylized girls that he creates and stuff. And uh, I, I saw him on Twitch, and I just fell in love with what he does. And the guy has inspired me to to give ZBrush a try. And I've been saying this for like two weeks to you, haven't I, Danny? Right on your stream, I'm always saying, "Dude, I want to learn to use ZBrush and everything." And uh, I just need to find some time. I was going to do it this week, but maybe next week. I need to sculpt Cherry. Go ahead, man. Go do it. I would love to see. I would love, you know, I'd love to see all my characters become. 3D. It would be so awesome. So I'm going to be learning to use ZBrush and I'm going to see if it's hard or if it's easy. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, I'm going to spend like about a week just learning the interface properly. I want it to become like second nature before I start creating stuff. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Paris, do you know Jazza from... Yeah, of course. Of course I do. Me and Jazza collabed a couple of times. Uh, once on Cypress channel and once on his and my channel. There's a, I've got a video, a very old video with me and Jazza. Uh, go and check it out. Yeah, yeah, Jessica. Who, who doesn't know Jazza, right? The, the dude from Down Under, huh? Who doesn't know him? Uh, let's see, what else? Paris, any chance of you going to discount some of your stuff in your store? I am. I'm going to be creating some bulks. Um, this is the thing, I've got some partners involved in Toonbox Studio and for me to um, for me to like give out discounts, it has to be, this is their demands, specific days of the year and also it has to be like a few courses that are related to each other to make into like a bulk and that's the only way. 
or you know on special events to give out discounts we didn't do anything that much this year because of the new platform that we switched to and it's been a hassle trying to manage it and now that we're smoothing things out hopefully very soon we'll be throwing out some discounts your way all right let's see what else would i miss i'm also here now too hey eek ike ike rants sith what's up my buddy do i you, if you do like, oh, I know Sh oh, Shane Olson's awesome. We're, he's a buddy of mine. We're friends on Facebook and everything. I hope he's here. I don't know if he's here or not, but Shane Olson is like, he's like Gandalf, right? <laughs> the dude is like Gandalf from like the CG world. The stuff that guy creates, and he just recently launched his, uh, I think it was today actually. Yeah, today is the launch of his mega course for from from taking you from step one, like stage one of learning how to how to sculpt. All the way to creating like this, like a, a fully stylized female character for gaming and stuff like. That. I, I saw like the process of it, and it looks amazing, guys. Seriously, um, go and check him out, Shane Olson. Just Google him; you'll find him. You'll find him. Um, I can't remember the name of his website. Damn it, I feel bad. Uh, if anybody knows the website, type it in there. I, damn it, I can't remember. I can't remember it. Anyway, I'm sorry, Shane, if you're listening in. I'm sorry, I can't remember it. But yeah, Shane Olson did the Disney Infinity characters. He was like the head of the department and everything. He was, he was freaking awesome, unbelievable. From the states of Montana here, what's up McLaren? What's up? I always thought that you and Jazza were the same person. How did you think that? He's got an Australian accent, I've got a typical mongrel accent. <laughs> from London, from North London. Uh, hi there, for the first time. Hey, what's up JSJK? Welcome to the pack. Jessica says he and you are my mentors. Ah, oh, I'll let him know. You know what? What time is it now in Australia? Should I call him up? Should I send him a text? Maybe he can jump on. Actually, I think it's, I think it's early in the morning right now, right? All right, that, I don't want to interrupt him. Maybe on the next stream, I'll call him up to. I'll send him a text to like jump on the stream. I'm making comic story that I would like to turn into an animation someday. My friends, oops, I missed it, missed it. Damn it! Hold on. You guys are typing too fast. Right. My friends want me to publish it on Wattpad but it seems a bit unprofessional. I don't know what Wattpad is, or Wattpad, I don't know what that is. I don't know, um, can you clarify what that is? I don't have a clue what that is. Is that, is that something new that I don't know of? Um, look, you know what? You're never gonna know if, it, if, if it's gonna be good or not, or I don't know if you're talking about unprofessional by uploading it on Wattpad, I don't know what that is. Or if you're talking about, I don't know, the level of the animation, whatever it is, um, create your animation and use YouTube as your platform. I think YouTube is the number one place for video and maybe some sneak peeks on Instagram and Facebook, you know. And Facebook now is kicking in videos as well. So um, yeah, don't be, go for it, go for it. If your friends say it, do it, do it. R. Laurie says, your chat is the second fastest I've ever seen. The first was Dodger. Who's Dodger? Is that another YouTuber? Dodger? That rings a bell, Dodger. If, he, if he's another YouTuber, let me know who he is. I would like to check him out. I'm a bit behind on YouTubers, guys. I've been away from like, you know, hanging out on YouTube and stuff. I've disconnected myself from a lot of people because life got in the way. But I'm coming back now with a vengeance. I'm coming back. Sith War, what's up, buddy? Paris, how in the world did you perfect the side profile I struggle with? Is there. Oops, I missed you. You moved. You moved. Where'd you go? Sith, Sith, where are you, Sith? There you are. Uh, side profile, I struggle with it. Is there a technique to do it? The side profile view of these animal characters or in general like human characters like cherry or something uh, if, you, if it's cherry and stuff have you checked my cherry course that would that would solve any problems you have man but um you know what it's just practice you know what here's a little secret that don bluth told me do you guys know who don bluth is anyway, he was a mentor of mine a long time ago for animation and he said paris um these were his words actually i don't need to remember what exactly he said it for you to solve a problem you need to first realize what the problem is, right? What he meant by that is, if you know exactly what the problem is, you should be able to fix it. If you can't fix it, that means you haven't actually understood what the problem actually is, right? So you might not, you might not like your side profile viewed where you drew it, right? But you gotta work out what you don't like about it. What is it? Is it the jaw? Is it too big, too small? Are the eyes too close to the skull? What is it? Is it the shape of the head? Is it the eyebrows? Are they too high up, too low? Is the nose too big, extruded? You gotta work out what it is to be able to solve the problem, right? Um, I can't really demonstrate right now, but um, I hope these little drawings I'm doing now give you some kind of clue 
they can be, I'm going to do with lots of like live drawings, guys, so it would help you guys out any way I can to help you guys out. Uh, let's go next. Christian says, "Good evening, good evening, good evening." Oh, sorry. <laughs> good evening, good evening, brother. Have uh, have you seen that? Have seen that on Instagram? Sorry, what? Good evening, star. Have seen that on Instagram? Oh, you saw the image I drew. Yes, I know, I know. I published it there. Um, I don't know if you guys worked it out that I was going to draw this image, but I hope you guys like it. I really enjoyed the final outcome and stuff. Felix says, "Are you?" as great in music as you are in drawing. I could play the guitar. Not very well, but I could play it a little bit. But I'm not good at music. I'm not good at, you know, playing music. I haven't, well, to be honest, I haven't really given it any chance to, to learn. I want to learn the piano. I've always, I've always found the piano fascinating. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to bodge your name up, man. Sorry, man. Somalia. Somalia. So, so, oh, pal. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> What's up, my friend? What's up? Sorry if I messed up your name, man. My bad. I'm really bad at pronouncing some people. Bassy Draw says, A turtle, a duck, a bear, and a bunny. Dream team. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> my friend, my bunny, my pals. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys these characters in my animated shorts, man. I can't wait. All right, let's carry on. All right, where are we? Where are we? Uh, Yuvalcon says, Hey, Paris. Special reason for using Sketchbook and not Photoshop? Um, the only reason is, well... Well, to be honest, right? right? It's between you and me, right? All of us, right? It's between you guys and me. I first started using Sketchbook Pro because it was new, okay? And when I was going, to, when I was starting out my YouTube channel, I was labeling my videos all told as Sketchbook Pro, and then out the title of whatever I was drawing, it could be like Cherry 001, whatever it was, Episode One, yeah. You know, but I would, I would always put all told as Sketchbook Pro because so I knew that it would, it would become a popular software one day, all right? This is when it first started. It's Autodesk, right? So they're like colossal company. So I was thinking like in the future, like people that will discover Sketchbook Pro, they'll search on YouTube to check it out and pop, I'll, they'll see my videos, all right? They'll see all my videos and that's what actually happened. And that's how I actually kickstarted my channel a little bit. It gave me a little bit of a boost, you know? Uh, but then once I got to actually know the software, guys, seriously, it's the easiest software on the planet, right? It's, it's such a user-friendly software. It's beautiful, it's, you know, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the latest Imagine Effects uh, magazine that just came out. I was published in there, featured in there, and the guys over there called me up and oh, emailed me, asking me if I can do like um, a one-page spread about Sketchbook Pro. For some reason, everybody, whenever everyone wants to know a bit about Sketchbook Pro, they just come to me. For some reason, I don't know why, you know, but they all come to me. Like any magazine and stuff, Sketchbook Pro. All right, it's called Paris, right? And I'm thinking. And my Sketchbook Pro's customer service, right, huh? I'm not getting paid for this, right? I'm actually, Autodesk, I hope you listen to this video, right? I should be getting paid for doing your job. Jeez. I mean, yeah, go and check it out. If you haven't seen it, I've got a one-page spread. It's, it's about Sketchbook Pro, and it's actually the, the, um, the question that you asked me is the question that um, is in the actual one-page spread, is the reasons why I'm using it. And it's basically user-friendly. I just love it. It's beautiful. It's simple. You know, you can access any type of tool really quickly. Uh, no gimmicks and stuff. It really forces you to draw instead of using like filters and stuff. And you know, uh, yeah. I just love it. I use every other sort. I use. I used to use Photoshop all the time before I discovered this. And uh, I still use Photoshop for tweaks and stuff. Like if I need some stuff done. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Uh, where are we? Uh, I've got to pass everyone. Sorry, guys. Repeat again if I missed it. Uh, I wish I had Wi-Fi so I could stay longer, but all I have is high-speed phone data. Oh no, Kylie, Kaylee, Kylie. Why? What's going on? Uh, there's no like Wi-Fi around you. Can't you steal the neighbor's Wi-Fi? No, I'm sorry. Don't worry. You can you can rewatch it though once it's finished. Uh, he and you are my mentors. I read that one. Yes, let's go down. Where was I? Where was I? Your chat is a sentence. Yes, I read that one. I've scrolled up too high. Damn it. All right. Paris, how in the world? Okay, we just read that one. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go. I read, just read you Vulcan. Okay. Didn't say, all right, I don't know. Uh, Jenny Bolt says, Paris, would you recommend for beginner artists to draw from life? Yes, of course, definitely. Uh, listen, for beginners, all right it might seem a bit tedious drawing from life uh, because you know usually you should start with simple foundations and then work it up to, to go for like you know something more like real life realistic stuff and um, 
But yeah, it will help you. It will help you. It, you know, draw everything around you. You know, anything that that inspires you. But drawing from life is key. Seriously, you you even though you might not be a fan of it, I used to be. I used to. I I, I hated it. All I wanted to do was draw cartoons. But uh, when they tell me, dude, you need to start practicing drawing from life and drawing figures, like go to your figure drawing class as well. I was like, damn, man, I can't really be bothered to do that. And then suddenly I just saw like a massive improvement. Massive improvement. Shane Awesome Character Workshop. That's the one. Well done, Sith. Well done for, thanks for um, saying it. Because the guy deserves any type of, um, any type of like attention towards what he does. The guy is a genius at what he does. And I wish him the best with his new um, venture that he's doing. It's brilliant. Uh, all right, let's carry on. Uh, I'm a Brummy. You're a Brummy. Are you from Birmingham? Bassy draws. Are you from Birmingham? Right? If, if I'm reading correctly, okay. Please let me know. Type yes. I am from Birmingham. <laughs> no, no. Is it Birmingham? I think Brummies are from Birmingham, right? Was it Bristol? It's a place in London, in England, guys. That if you're from there, they they call themselves Brummies, or we call them Brummies or something. I can't remember. I've got friends over there. All right, let's go further down. Uh, what you guys are skipping too fast. Hello from Brothers, Brothers E123, what's up, what's up, welcome to the pack. How do you get your pencil to look so pencily? Ah, this pencil you're looking at right now, I it's, a, it's basically a traditional pencil, you know, um, what do you call it, a texture pencil that comes with Sketchbook Pro. Sketchbook Pro has a section of different pencils. And there was this one that I liked, and I actually modified it a few days ago. And this is the second attempt I'm using it's right now. So I like this texture pencil that comes with Sketchbook Pro, but it was always missing just a little ingredient to fit what I wanted. And I just sat down and just played around with the, the settings of you know the properties of each tool until I found the one that I liked. And I found this one. And I just didn't like the way it, the texture was too spaced out and it was a bit scratchy and stuff and it didn't look like an actual pencil pencil kind of thing. So I decided to like play around with like diff all the different bars that are on the properties and see what they can do. So j just just you know play around with it and scribble around and see what it looks like. And I just came up with this. And now I've got rid of everything on my palette on my left. If you see the top left of my screen, uh, all my tools and everything, I got rid of everything. I just placed the ones I use. And that's it. I might actually start editing a paintbrush soon. I want to get a gouache brush. Have you guys heard of Pernell? She's an Instagram artist. A girl called Pernell. I think she's from Norway or Sweden. I can't remember. She's blonde, kind of tall, really pretty, really nice personality. She draws amazing stuff. And um, she uses this gouache brush on Photoshop. She uses Photoshop. And I just love that gouache brush. She modified it herself. She, I think she downloaded it from someone or something. And then she modified it and tweaked it. And it looks brilliant. And I might try and make a gouache type brush as well because it looks so cool. Pernell's awesome. Go and check her out. If you guys are on Instagram, you gotta check out Pernell. She's really sweet, really nice person. All right, where are we? Let's go back a bit because I've missed out on a lot of you guys. Hold on. How the hell did you? All right, we saw that one. All right, let's go down, down, down. Uh, let's see. Any? Uh, okay, we've done that. There we go. All right. Uh, any reasons for choosing certain animals to draw again and again? I have a little beaver character, says Harry, and I can't think of a buddy to pair with him. Uh, oh, so you got a beaver character, right? And you want to find a partner for it, right? Something to team up with. Well, I don't know. This well, it's a forest creature, right? So, you know, there's so many forest creatures you can pick. I would usually pick something roughly close to the same size as it. I mean, all right, now bears are bigger than rabbits, but it's a cub, so, you know, that's why they're roughly the same size. Uh, but yeah, I would go for something like, you know, roughly the same size. So, uh, so it depends on what you want to do. There's so many characters, so many animals out there. Don't type forest creatures, forest animals, and have a look what you can come up with. All right. Uh, oh, Sith says humans. So side profile views for humans. Yeah, like I said, you need to... Figure out what the problem is, Sith. You need to work it out. And uh, this it, was it you, Sith, that said about the side profiles? I think it was you, right? Uh, but yeah, you gotta work it out. But go and check out my cherry course. If you haven't guys seen the cherry course, it will answer all your problems, man. Seriously. How do you do more work at work if you're a lazy person? This is no, I'm not a lazy person at work. At work, I'm I'm one of the most hardest working people you've ever met. Trust me. Like I'm a workaholic. It's like 
If I start an image or a video, I will not stop until it's finished, all right? And unless I'm really dead. I might go to like six in the morning. It's just that I'm lazy with um, keeping up with social medias. Uh, just because work is a priority, that's it. That's the only reason. But now that I've freed a bit of time, um, I'm gonna take some, for example, I wanna make my YouTube channel go back to the way it used to be, you know how it used to be? I don't know how whoever's new, welcome to the pack by the way. If you guys have been with me for a long time, you remember how active I used to be. I wanna go back to that standard. And, uh, but right now I'm working on my series, so hopefully once I get one of those episodes out, then I could be a little bit more active. So these streams are a good solution. So I'm going to be more active with these streams. And Instagram, I'm going to do my best to build that account up. But I'm not lazy as a, as a worker. Yeah. Harry says, any reason for to Yeah, we saw that one. Uh, here. Okay, actually, yeah, Dodger. Oops. Hello. I missed it. Where are you? There we go. Uh, Laurie says, actually, yeah, Dodger is a YouTuber. She games. Oh, it's a girl. She games, I think. I don't know a lot about her, honestly. Her channel's press hearts to continue. All right, I'll check it out. I'll check her out. Why not? I like gamers. Uh, yes, I have a lot of them. Courses. All right. So wait, was it you, Sith, who was asking about the side profile? If it was you, um, please clarify for me. If not, then I missed something. Uh, Le Leonard says Leonard or Leonard Leonard says ever thought about a three to six second chippy cherry animation <laughs> Chippies they are cute aren't they chippy? Yeah, I could do that. I could do that in, in like Yeah, that's easy. I could do that easily. Uh, it depends what you want to do But if you would just want like a little chippy character of cherry just standing there and looking cute and moving her Her hair or something or her, her pigtails or something in her hands waving it. I could do that in, in Like I don't know an hour. It's really that's simple stuff. I can do that, yeah, sure. How do you, right, let's have a little look. Sorry, but the screen is so small that I'm actually having to squint to read it because the microphone's on my right-hand side and the screen's on my left. All right, so Rusty Hound says, how does one get more accurate lines? I tend to be quite messy. Um, well, I guess it's just practice of controlling the, your pencil or your stylus pen. Uh, the more you zoom in, the more control you have. Uh, if you take pigeon steps, but if you zoom out, you can make big movements. So if it's a small area um, and you zoom out, you can get an easy stroke and get it nice and smooth. But if it's a massive object, then I, I like I prefer to zoom in and, and like really take my time controlling that line as I'm sketching it. But what I usually do is I just scribble out just really rough and loose, and then just go over it with a passover. So once you get like the silhouette down, then it's like a piece of cake after that for me. That's how I work, you know. If you guys have seen my courses, you would already know exactly how I work and stuff. Uh, but this process you see me do, that's how I sketch out, yeah. That's how I sketch out. Um, but it's just practice. Uh, Shepard says, hello Paris, I really love your work. Thank you, thank you. Are you going to do a goofy animal drawing course? Yes, I am, I am. Slapstick animal courses are going to be coming very soon. I take it you've, you've, you've watched my animal course, right? And I mentioned it, I remember that. I remember mentioning that. I was planning a long time ago to do a cartoon, goofy animal, slapstick type character course. That's the fun one, right? That's the fun one. Like these characters, basically. You know, they stand on on two legs and stuff. You know, they're not actual realistic animals where they on all fours, you know, hopping around and stuff. Yeah. What pen are you using to do the sketch? I'm using a stylus pen. The one that just comes with uh, Sketchbook Pro. Uh, well, sorry, with Wacom. And... Um, but the, the actual pencil I'm using to sketch around with is a, it's just a, uh, one of the default um, textured pencils that comes with Sketchbook Pro. I just modified it a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm missing everything. All right, you know what? I'm going to go straight down to the bottom of this chat box. I'm halfway. All right, here we go. And please start repeating, guys. <laughs> Sorry, copy paste what you're saying. Rick says, hey, Toon. Right, hey, Rick. Welcome to the pack. Right, sorry, I repeated the question a few times. It was about human side profiles. Yeah, so it was you. I remember it was you guys. I remember it was you, Sid. Yeah, so um, I covered it in the cherry course about the side profile for for females, but for guys, it's exactly the same thing. Uh, but yeah, back to this, this, you know, the simple thing I just mentioned before about realizing what the problem is to be able to solve the problem. You need to actually realize what the problem is. Uh, Omega says, I am ha so happy to hear you're gonna do a Looney Tooney cart character course. Yes, I will be. I will be. 
I'm going to try out Autodesk Tempted. Any tips? Well, look, there's a free version, but the free version is limited. Um, I've never tried the free version, so I'm not sure what's limited. I think you're limited on layers and tools and stuff. Uh, but it's cool to try out. Um, but it's, it's really cheap. It's not expensive, actually. You know, it's one of the cheapest softwares out there. But yeah, give out, go download the trial and check it out. Bassy says, yes, I'm from Birmingham. See, I love my brummies. I love my brummies. <laughs> Steve says, how are you so consistent with drawing Cherry? Practice? Yes, practice. That's it. I've been drawing her for so many years. I know her inside out. And I've been tweaking her throughout the years as well. So I'm, I'm evolving her at the same time. Uh, but yeah, practice. Everything is practice, guys. Seriously. Everything is practice and observing. All right. What I like to do is I like to find artists who are better than me. And so I can set goals for myself, right? For example, if I like the way someone draws or, if someone, or the way somebody renders, I, I use that as a target, like, that's what I want to end up like, I want to be like that. So um, I observe what they do and how they do it. If I don't have access to like seeing them in action, then I'll just try and work it out by myself. But yeah, practice, practice, practice. Uh, Mondo Bro says, would you prefer pigeon steps or long steady strokes? I I'll, I'll do both, I I'll do like a mixture of both. It depends on, on the type of character and how easy, like for example, this rabbit now that you're looking at right now. If you see his belly, that's a quick long stroke. I could do that in one quick stroke. But um, if it was like uh, the little details, like or maybe like the head shape, which is like not a circle, like complete circle, then I will zoom in and I want to get that nice and clean. Right, this actually this example of my artwork right now, these characters, is not the best example because it's a sketchy type of artwork. I actually wanted it to be sketchy, that's why it looks like that. Um, but it's not that dead clean, you know, digitalized type artwork that you guys usually see me do. Uh, I want it to look like a hand-drawn type of sketch. But yeah, it, I mix it up. It depends on the shape. If it's a big shape then and an easy shape, then I'll do like a long stroke zoomed out. But if it's a complicated shape, then I'll zoom in and take pigeon steps. Uh, Jenny Bolt says, Paris, are you gonna see the thought? Yes, of course. <laughs> yep, of course. <laughs> Definitely. Julianne Lasita says, any tips for male anatomy? Huh, figure drawing. You gotta go to life drawing classes. I'm also creating um, a, an anatomy for dummies type of thing. It's basically what it is, is like I take anatomy and I simplify it like so that you guys can really easy, easily learn it the way I easily learned it. Because at first I used to struggle and then I worked out a little formula for myself that made life a lot easier for me to understand anatomy. It's something that people don't really teach it or they don't explain it the way I wanted it to be explained to me. So um, I'm gonna be creating an anatomy course made easy sort of thing, right? Simplifying anatomy for people. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that one. But yeah, take uh, figure drawing classes, figure drawing classes. Have you ever told us the story behind your icon? Yes, I have. I've got a whole video on that one, a whole video. Don't make me go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who have seen that video, I can't remember which one it was. Um, basically, it could be like a recap. That logo, the character that you're seeing right now, was a comic book that I created a long time ago. And it was these little five boys, and that was their head shape. And basically, it was a big struggle to publish that, that um, comic book. Everything went wrong, and I ended up closing the project. And I kept it as my logo just to remind me of not to give up sort of thing like my dream is right there I can just keep fighting for it yeah maybe one day I might bring it out live for you guys maybe I might make a comic version of it for you guys to see I don't know we'll see all right let me catch up um, Iris the goddess what are you, your what's what is what are your opinions on the new Beauty and the Beast movie and can you do a cherry sketch with Beauty and the Beast characters oh, that would be a nice one wouldn't it uh, my opinion, I enjoyed it. I actually liked it. Um, I think the actors were good. Um, I, I, the only thing I didn't like was Gaston's voice. I expected someone more manly and much like this, you know, you know uh, that kind of voice. But he was brilliant. He, you know, he, he looked cool. You know, he got that macho look. Maybe he was a bit more buff would be better. But you can't really find another Gaston, can we? But um, yeah, it was not bad. It's not bad. Nothing beats the cartoon. But yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I've watched it twice. I've watched it twice. I really liked it. Emma, Emma's brilliant. I loved Emma. A lot of people. They've got mixed reviews though. I remember that. Right, man. What, uh, what are you saying, man? I love you guys chatting. Y'all, y'all got zero chill and are hype. <laughs> Thanks, Laurie. 
Uh, Shamik says it looks really good so far. Thank you. Thank you. We're coming up to the end of it soon. Uh, let's see. Julianne says no. Oh, you got. Oh, there you go. There you go. It's a good answer there. Might help. Yeah. Quick quick poses is also my go-to because I don't really have that kind of access to like you know life drawing classes near me. Any good ones? So I usually use quick quick poses. Really cool. Try, try it out. Most of my drawings are sketchy like this. I have problems with doing line art to look clean. Maybe it's the res. Oh yeah, your resolution has to be high. You have to have like a massive canvas if you want to get as many pixels in your line quality. Um, I've got a video on that as well. Go check that out. There's a video clip where I talk about that. You need a um, you need a big canvas. If you're using like 720p and 1080p type canvases, forget that. You need to get it up. Bump it up to like 4,000. All right. Uh, Angerun says hi. Hi. Welcome to the pack. Iris the goddess. What's up, Iris? What are your opinions? Oh, yeah, we read that one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Tobienko says, any plans for future artworks for the channel? Do you play things by ear and draw as the muse inspires you? Or do you just play things by ear, by ear and draw as the... Well, well I, right. first of all, uh, plans for my channel is basically what I mentioned before about my streams. It's going to be like a digital sketchbook. I'm going to be starting hopefully maybe next week. And besides that, I'm working on my new animated um, live action series that I've mentioned before in the past as well. So that's going to be my new go-to thing on my channel. Um, but I don't understand the second question about the muse bit. Uh, do you play things by ear and draw as the muse inspires you? I didn't get that. Can you, collect, can you clarify that for me, please? Anyways, Jenny says, what is the first character you've ever created? Um, um, it's actually animal characters that I've drawn, like these little critters, but they weren't that really good. Actually, the turtle, the rabbit, and the bear did exist in my childhood, but they didn't look like that. They look much better now, but I, actually, I've got some pictures, right, somewhere. I need to find them. I've got to find them and show it to you guys, but yeah, those type of animal characters, but they didn't look as good as that. They looked actually quite bad, <laughs> but they're really cool. I used to love them. Uh, so I'm missing out some some of them here. All right, we go. There we go. All right. Didn't you threaten a publisher that you were gonna show a pencil? <laughs> yep, I did. Man, I don't want to get into that because it gets me pissed every time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a that's a, go watch that video, guys. <laughs> I actually talk about that. I was going. I was. I lost my mind that day. Uh, it's really cool watching you pack in a house, dude. I don't know how many people are on here. I didn't even check. Uh, let's have a look. How many people are online? Can anybody? 143. Holy moo! Awesome. I didn't expect. Oh, there's about 20 of you guys. Oh, wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. Not bad for my first day back, right? Huh? Right? Huh? Yeah? All right, cool. Uh, still a bigger fan of the character design from Glenn Keane. Still a bigger fan of the character designs from Glenn I love Glenn Keane. Glenn Keane is awesome. Steve says, do you ever give private online classes? I want to. That's something that I want to look into in the future. I mentioned it in the past. That I'm something like, you know, in my plans, in my bucket list to do on ToonboxStudio.com. Um, either private online lessons or group lessons as well. Still haven't figured it out yet. Uh, but yeah. All right, what else do we have? Do you have your mastery of the software is almost as impressive as your art? Oh, thank you. Where is Cherry? Cherry's on a break. She's on holiday. She'll be back soon. <laughs> She'll be back soon. <laughs> right, guys. Um, what else? What else do we have here? Do you ever give pro Have we read that one? What advice do you have for early stages? Um, keep it simple. Um, try and focus on, I don't know, all the little details like clear clarity type of design, um, gesture, artwork, expressions. Focus on playing around with shapes and stuff. I like to keep things simple and then slowly through time evolve the character. But keep it simple at the beginning. Don't try and make, make complex characters if you're a beginner. Try and keep it simple. Uh, what else do we have? I'm dying inside a little when he calls me Laurie. Hey Laurie! Is it is it Laurie? It's Laurie, right? It's not Lore, right? It's Laurie. <laughs> but I love him too much to correct him anymore. Oh, is it Lore? Is it R? <laughs> Damn, that's embarrassing. Sorry, Lore. <laughs> For the colored lineup, would you use like three to five less saturation? I just select the base color and I just darken it. Uh, depending, 
uh, how it looks, I just judge it with my eyes, you know. If I feel like it needs to be lighter, I go lighter, darker, go darker, desaturate it, saturate it, you know. Just play with it, just, just observe it and just go with your gut feeling, however you feel, you know. Uh, sorry, well that wasn't about to be, what's that? I can't read what that says. Uh, I can't read what that says. I can't read your message. Oh, what happened here? Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, any other, what advice do you have on creating characters? Oh, I read that one. Alright. Alright, what do you guys think of the final illustration? Do you like it? What do you think? Let me know what you think of the final logo. There we go. That's the logo that's going to be on my, all my artwork now, all my videos and stuff, my streams, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Right, I'm going to like um, put like this on now. Sorry. This. And I'm going to continue for another five minutes answering your questions. Right, let's have a look. Pretty good. Looks great. Amazing. It looks amazing. A lot of personality. Looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Cool. Really stylized. Looks great. That's awesome, guys. Right, listen. If I missed any of your questions, I do apologize. Uh, but it was hard to keep up with you guys, man. Seriously, you guys are so fast at typing. It's cute. It looks like a story waiting to be told. I know, right? You guys, got, I can't wait to show you guys the animated series. It's, it's, a, it's stressing my brain, but it's a lot of fun at the same time. It's actually harder than I thought, guys. Seriously. Right, are you gonna delete the pencil marks underneath? No, I'm keeping it. I want it to be a sketchy. I, I did that on purpose. I want it to be really sketchy. I don't want it to be like clean, solid, like a graphic design type, you know logo. I want to have that sketchiness because I want to print this on, on like business cards as well. It's cool man. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Great. Uh, I love how Chevy is just creeping in the background. <laughs> I know right? <laughs> she, I, I shut her out. She's, she's like out. This is like the boys room. They out. Women out. All ladies out. So excited for the animated series. Thanks for the stream. Loved hanging out with you. Thank you. Thanks Laura. Huh? Got it right? You know I? Laura? Geraldo says, hi man, I'm a Brazilian cartoonist. Can I send you my sites to give you an opinion about my work? Yeah, sure. Sure, go for it. What do you look at when... Uh, what? Sorry, let me read that again. What do you look at what you draw? What do I look... What? I didn't get that. Um, repeat, repeat that please, brothers. What do you look at when I draw? When you draw? What I look at, basically. Um, I always have references or something, but usually like... Uh, by animal characters because I've drawn them so many times. I know them inside out. Uh, I just make it up as I go um, I create my own little... But right, this was like a fixed pose, static poses, but usually, you know, I create my own stuff from, from my mind imagination Love the new logo. I oh, know it's cute, right? Be, I think it was, it was getting a bit boring the, the old, you know, the old version. I think it needed a bit of um, decoration, you know Where can we post our fan art of Cherry? Right, you can Post it in your Instagram, and no, sorry, actually no. Go to my Deviant Art account. There's links in the description of this video. By the way, guys, give this video a nice thumbs up. Uh, I want to, I want, I want to start building up my streams, and they're not getting many likes because the people that come onto the sh onto the stream forget to add the like, you know. So, uh, if you guys can give a nice thumbs up, but um, yeah, um, go to my Deviant Art account and just upload your fan art and just uh, mention me or something on there and uh, I'll find it. Don't send me a note because I won't see the note. Just tag me and somehow it's just like it, it shows it to me in like and, you know it works and I'll I'll grab them all. Let's see Paris are you from Paris France? No I'm from the UK but I am Greek Cypriot. I was born and raised in the UK. My parents are from Cyprus. I'm living in Cyprus right now. I love the new logo. Where can yeah, love it. Thanks for streaming. No problem. How to be more productive? How to be more productive? Oh god, you gotta check out. All oh, right. Ah, um, oh, this is that's a huge subject, man. <laughs> it's a huge subject. How about you repeat that question on the next stream where I have more time to talk about it? Uh, that's a massive subject. Massive subject. Uh, let's see what else. What software do you use to record my drawings? I use Camtasia. I know there's better software out there, but Camtasia was the software I, I fell in love with five years ago. And it was the easiest one for me to understand at the time. So I remember I was testing out on different softwares and that was the only one that was cheap as well. And at the time, I don't know how much it is now, I can't remember. But um, it's really user friendly and it's simple. It's not like 
complex like other ones. It doesn't have like a million features, but it does a job. Camtasia. Enjoy this very much. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, wrong timing. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, Joshua. You just come in now. Doesn't matter. You can rewatch it. You can rewatch it. How to do? How do you stop being frustrated while drawing? Uh, look, it comes down to like practice. Everything comes down to practice, guys. You practice, you learn, you get experienced, so you don't make the same mistakes twice, three times, etc. So, yeah, and a lot of planning. I do a lot of planning, guys, before I get started. A lot of planning. If you guys have checked out my storytelling poses course, I show you there how I plan my stuff, how I, how I come up with my artwork that I usually create as well. My four step formula. I'm glad you didn't die at least and you're back. <laughs> I'm back, bro. I'm back. <laughs> Don't worry. I just took some time off to finish some courses, to start filming for my new series, and um, yeah, you know, summer's just kicked in as well, so I'm at the beach all the time. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna. Uh, what other arts YouTubers you would recommend watching? Um, hmm. Well, it depends what style you guys into. If you're looking for people that have my type of style, I don't know that many that have my type of style. If you want to find people who are good artists, what I recommend you is to go on Instagram, right? Because Instagram, there are so many artists and so many talented ones. And then just check to see if in their bio, in their biography, if they are, if they have a YouTube link there to go and check out their artwork. Uh, but there are so many, so many different, you know, artists out there that it depends on what style you want to look for. I don't know what you like, so I can't recommend. Me personally, I don't really follow artists on YouTube. I follow them off YouTube. Uh, the, the ones I admire are not on YouTube, unfortunately. Ah, you know who I really admire on, on YouTube as an artist? Her name is Joanna Davidovich. She's an animator. I absolutely love her. She's a quirky, she's fun, and she's a brilliant animator, 2D animator. Uh, I can't remember the, the, I think her channel is called Joanna Davidovich. Davidovich? I don't know what, that's how you pronounce it. Go check her out. She is awesome. Her stuff is unbelievable. Um, Sam Green Media, he's awesome as well. Go and check Sam Green. He's brilliant. Uh, but yeah, it depends on what you like. Paris, do you have a Twitter account? Yes, I do, but I don't use it. I, I'm not a Twitter fan. I don't like, I don't know. I never got into it. I made it, and I created it once, and then I just never got into it. Uh, but I, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Instagram, it's Toonbox Studio. Go to the Instagram, check it out there. I'm on DeviantArt, once again, Toonbox Studio. Facebook, type Toonbox Studio, I'm everywhere. I'm just not on, I'm, I'm just not active on Twitter. I'm very active on Instagram. I upload, I post like at least twice a week. And I'm gonna be fully active soon. Like I'm gonna kick in like into second gear on YouTube and get back into things like I used to be. Uh, all right. So yeah, that's looking good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, before I finish, I just want to give you guys a heads up. So um, I'm gonna be posting once again a new stream. I'll, I'll form another event very soon. You, it'll pop up in your feed. Make sure you hit that bell next to my subscriber button if you haven't already. Next to the subscribe button is a bell. If you press that, you get notified uh, when the next stream is going to come up live. Also on Instagram, I'll post there as well and on Facebook so you get notified as well. And I'm going to be giving out some prize giveaways all right, uh, very soon. I haven't figured out what they're going to be. The only thing I'm thinking about right now is some sketches, some artwork, you know, printed and signed by me, and I'll be posting and uh, sending them out to you. Uh, also, on the next stream, I'm going to be talking about the Toon Box magazine that I mentioned a long time ago. I don't know if you guys remember it. I mentioned um, talking about creating a maybe like a, every quarter uh, to make a Toon Box magazine where I will be advertising you. I'll take your artwork and I'll be publishing it and putting it everywhere on the web. Anywhere I've got power and access to, I'll be publishing it so that you guys can like get some, you know, get some, you know, get noticed a little bit, get some traffic towards you guys and stuff. So I'll be talking more about the magazine on the next on the next stream and uh, maybe I'll, I'll explain to you guys how that will work. And um, yeah, so anyways, guys, I'm gonna be. Um, I'm going to be closing the stream right now. I hope you guys had fun. This was just a little fun. One hour, you know, just hang out with me for, you know, doing this little quick one. Uh, it was a lot easier with this, like, recorded version. Same thing, really. Me sketching, you know, in real time. And um, I get more chance to hang out with you guys and answer. If I didn't answer your questions, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back, right? Next week. Next week. I don't know if it's going to be during the week or on the weekend. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Stay strong. Stay, you know, stay you. And I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye for now.